everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on the last video for this week on InfraWorks. We've gone through creating some conceptual design, we've gone through roads and bridges and drainage and now we want to make some presentation videos of our uh, in intention uh, for this design. So I've got it here, uh, road, I've put in some city furniture which just happens to be a, a service station uh, convenience store kind of thing from InfraWorks and then I've also drawn in a building here uh, just on my own building pad so this is not a Revit building this is just using the buildings uh, command here in InfraWorks so just to draw a generic shape. So there's a couple ways to make presentations in here. You need to get into the storyboard uh, creator in InfraWorks here and then you've, you've got this ribbon up here with a whole bunch of, of different tools that you can use. So uh, one of the first ones I always like to, to show people is just create um, a camera path from a component road. So if I click on preview there, it's gonna show me what it's gonna look like. So my horizontal com uh, offset might be, uh, let's say minus two meters and I go preview. So I'm driving down the left-hand side of the road uh, I can adjust all of these, uh, p the, the, the position offsets, I can adjust the speed, um, but you know we can just click on create, and then if I click on play, then we have uh, that road. So as we drive down, we can see that building there uh, in the distance, and then we'll go around the corner and then we'll see the rest of the model. So because I'm, I'm not following anything in particular, it's just going to be following the road. Uh, we aren't going to see that, that petrol station, but uh, again, we can do other um, uh, storyboard effects in there to add that uh, into the scene also. So to do that, I'm just going to delete this storyboard and I'm going to start again. And what I'm going to do is start uh, maybe here and then again in my storyboard I, I'm going to capture the camera path animation and then I can rotate it around and zoom it a little bit and then capture the keyframe okay and then zoom around and then capture the keyframe again and then one more time so now when we do play it InfraWorks storyboard will start spinning around between all of those views. Now, obviously, this is quite quick. You can adjust uh, all of the timing and the settings in here as well. Um, but again, you can see how quickly it is just to make these animations. Some of the other different options in here, you've got some look around, orbit, pan, recorded walk, still motion. Um, we've, we can also come in here and add uh, some captions. So again, it might be... Uh, some words or an explanation or something on what's happening with that view. I can also add a, a new title. I can also add in the date and time animation if I really wanted to. And then ultimately we can also export that uh, out to a video as well. So again, you don't have to dump anything into 3ds max or uh, any other animation I know this is uh, this seems quite simple in regards to, to something like 3ds max uh, but again it's it's just something you can do within infoworks the software uh, and then you don't have to fiddle about with exporting and, and uh, playing around if you don't know uh, 3ds max that well so that's it for today's video and for the week. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel uh, if you like my videos. Thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, please click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of my videos. And I will see you next week. Um, so I think I might play around with Fusion next week. Build up some, some equipment and talk about importing and exporting uh, with the other Autodesk products. So thanks again and I will see you next week.